I'm going for it, guns are blazing. Like I'm putting the full maximum effort in. That's why I love park runs. If it walks like a duck, if it sounds like a duck, it's a park run race. After last week's video, which was why I'm vegan. So this video is why I self-sabotage my own YouTube channel by covering one subject, why I am vegan. I thought I'd lighten the mood. I decided I was gonna go on a bit of a field trip. I was gonna go on a small adventure to try and beat a challenge that I've had for the whole of this year and I haven't actually done anything about it. I'm traveling slightly further afield today. Uh, I'm going to a park run in the nearest, well, one of the nearest biggest cities to where I live, which is a 20 minute train journey away. But yeah, today's run, 5K, cheeky park run. I'm looking forward to this, really nice weather. Um, this is gonna be good. So I set myself a challenge back in my New Year's resolution video at the beginning of Jan, and then I did bugger all with it for the rest of the year. So I thought I'd do something today about that. I've been going to the same park run location for the last five or six times, and I thought that I'd give a new one a shot. Now, the Chelmsford park run isn't anywhere near where I live, so I've had to get the train there, but it's not that far, and the train pretty much takes me door to door, so I thought, yeah, why not give it a punt? One of the reasons I decided to give this a shot today was because I was bought a book for my birthday at the beginning of the year, and I have, this is the book. This book, which is running, is called the Little Book of Running, so it's not a parody book, I just want to say this, look, I just want to show you the cover. This is genuinely a book of inspirational quotes, right? And this book is weird, but there was one quote that really pissed me off. I've even bookmarked it to make sure that I get the right quote. Whoever wrote this, right, is either a genius and is trolling me, or trolling whoever buys this book, or they seriously need to give their head a wobble. And then this is the one that got me. This is the one that forced me out the door this morning running. Not everyone is capable of running a marathon in a good time. In fact, 20% of people won't achieve this no matter how hard they train as their muscles aren't genetically programmed to extract as much oxygen as they need. I don't swear in my videos, but what the f this book is genuinely written for everyone from the beginner to the long distance runner. That one about not being able to run a marathon, no matter how hard you train for it, really annoyed me. So 20% of people won't achieve this no matter how hard they train. I don't know if I'm in that 20% and I wasn't going to go out and run a marathon. So instead of running a marathon, I decided to rock up at a new park run location. Okay, welcome to Chelsea Central Park Run. All the way to the finish. So if they sprint, you're sprinting with them. Now, in my New Year's resolution video at the beginning of this year, I said I wanted to get a sub. What did I say? Did I say sub 27 minutes? I can't remember. This year, my new park run target is going to be, are you ready for this? A sub 25 minute park run. I'll put it in the video. I think I said sub 27. I might have said sub 28. I'm not 100% sure. And then I forgot about it. I didn't forget about it. I work as part of our family business. I work every Saturday. And today is Saturday. I've got a day off, a rare day off. I've just got back. Obviously, I just had my shower. I had something to eat. I had a sandwich, sat in the garden. Really nice day out there. Came up here to film this video because I am buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I don't wanna give anything away, but today was a really good day. I'm just gonna put my headphones on because I can't hear it. My existing PB is 29.35. I just wanna beat that. So if I can get it under 30, I've got a fighting chance of getting it under 29.35. If I can do a sub 29, I'd be over the moon. I'm also wearing a proper random t-shirt that I found at the bottom of my pile. So I got on the start line right at the front. I always make sure I get right to the front of the start line. Always. I'm not the fastest. I let people overtake me. I let the faster people zoom past me. Now the good thing about a park run is this is the, one of the best things about a park run. Because of the competition, I will never run like this if I went out training running. If I went out to do a 5k run to try and beat 30 minutes, I wouldn't shoot off the start line. I was doing ridiculous pace off the start line. Absolutely blitzed it. And then I calmed down because I can feel my heart rate going up through my head and I rein it back in. And then I just set a pace and I keep the pace there. And I looked at my watch and my watch said, let me just pause it there. My watch said, 
8.15. I was averaging within the first kilometre at 8.15 pace. When I was doing the David Goggins challenge two weeks ago, I set my watch to miles instead of kilometres because it was four miles every four hours for 48 hours. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. It's a really good video. 8.15 per, per kilometre is really slow, really slow. And then I realised I hadn't set my watch and I, I had a burst of adrenaline. So we run under the viaduct. This is the viaduct which goes through the park. It's a really nice park. Really, really impressed with this park. Really, really flat. There is a there is a small bump. I don't want to say hill because it's not a hill. Um, but when you're running at your maximum capacity, and I did set a new heart rate for this run. At the end of it, I think I set a new PB heart rate. My maximum heart rate increased from whatever it was before to 195 BPM. 100. That was that. That's what I maxed out at. 195 BPM. I mean, that's mental. I think I averaged in the 170s across the entire run, which is really high. I mean, that's higher than I do on Zwift. I'm only just processing that now as I say it. So we're just coming up to the first mile and my time has now slipped to 9.05. So I'm averaging a nine, just over a nine minute mile. Now there was a bit of an incline here. I'm using that as an excuse, but the reason why I'm looking at my watch is because there is an incline. I'm going uphill. So I thought I'm going to check it. I'm going to find when my first park run video so the exact date of my first park run was the 25th of August, 2022. 25th of August, 22. So over a year, well over a year, two years, <laughs> two years, quick maths. That wasn't my first park run. I'll tell you why that wasn't my first park run. My first park run, I was so bad, I was ashamed to film it. The reason why I love park runs is twofold. Firstly, because it is a proper smash and grab. I love high energy, hit, smash and grab, exercising. So that's why I love Zwift because I can just go on a race and park runs are the running equivalent of a Zwift race. I can just rock up and I can run as fast as I can, flat out. I sound like a wildebeest galloping over the Serengeti. I don't know if you get wildebeest in the Serengeti, but if you did, I'd sound like one. I'm going for it, guns are blazing. Like I'm putting the full maximum effort in. That's why I love park runs. And it kind of leads me on to my second point, which is, and this is the controversial bit, it's a race. It's a park run, prides itself on it not being a race. This park run is not a race. It's a walk, jog, run, volunteer or spectate. It is a race, guys. This is a race. They give you time results. They mark you against other people. They give you age categories. They show your position overall versus everybody else. 100% a race. Everyone sprints for the finish line. Everyone sprints for the finish line. So if they sprint, you're sprinting with them. If it walks like a duck, if it sounds like a duck, it's a park run race. I am not a fast runner. I am not fast by any stretch of the imagination. A sub 30 park run is not fast. What is the average? Let me Google the average. This is why I depress myself now. Uh, is Runners World a good website to check? I don't know. Okay, that's made me feel a lot better. So the average 5K finish time in the UK is 33 minutes, 54 seconds. So for male runners, the average finish time is 29 minutes, eight seconds. And for me female runners, the average finish time is 38 minutes, 12. So for me, 29.08 is the average. And I just want to beat the average because if I'm beating more people that are starting with me, it means I'm progressing because when I first started running, that first video that I ever had, let me see if I can find, I've edited it and made it look really good and exciting as if I'm running really fast. Yeah, I'm not. I can't even see myself. Where am I there? there. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> I've even made myself laugh with my own video. I have come so far. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm not fast now. I just want to, spoiler, but I just watching this, I'm so proud of how far I've come. Basically, what I'm saying, guys, is I've come a really long way since that first second run. So at this point, I've massively settled down into my pace. I'm trying to make it. I can't talk at all. And that's how I know that I'm going flat out. But I'm trying to control my heart rate. If I push too hard, then I'll drop off too much and my pace will start hitting the 10 minute mile marker. And I just can't hit the 10 minute. I'm trying to keep it below nine minutes. I want to look at my watch and see that number start with an eight because I know that if I can get it to start with an eight the whole way, I'm getting a sub 30. And at this point, I wasn't aiming for anything other than sub 30. I just wanted to beat my PB because my existing PB, my official parkrun email hasn't come through. What time is it? It's only one o'clock. Parkrun was at nine o'clock and the official email, is it in my junk? Okay, yeah, it's in my junk. So my first ever parkrun 
yeah, I didn't register the first one. So this is the second park run. My first one, I didn't bother registering. And I registered a time of 33 minutes, 49 seconds. I don't get to do a lot of park runs because of my job. So when I do have a Saturday off, the first thing I do is do a park run. And then I did another one, which was again, one of my videos, which was a challenge to try and do the sub 30. And I did it. I did 29.59 and I matched my PB. I matched it exactly the same time, but I, I couldn't have that. So I came back a week later and did 29.35, which I was really happy with. 29.35, I was over the moon with that. And that was again, another one of my videos. So if you like Park Run and you like my videos, fill your boots. And then today, I've blurred this out, today's result. So that's the story, that's my history of Park Run. I'm not a Park Run expert. I don't go every Saturday, which I wish I did. If I had every Saturday off, I would be at every single Park Run. I would do a tour of Park Runs. I love Park Runs. <laughs> So at this point here where it's a shaken camera, it's like the Blair Witch Project watching this section. But the reason why I'm filming now is because this is what the organizers at the beginning called Death Valley. I don't know why they called it Death Valley. We're in a park in Chelmsford. Yeah, we went down a small gully, a small in a small section in the park where there was a, a bit of a climb up the other side, but it was long drawn out. So my pace dropped. And that's where the, for the first time in this run, I'd say we're about two and a half K in, three K in. For the first time, my pace started with a 10. When I looked at my watch, I didn't film it because I was dying inside. So we're just coming up to two miles and my watch says 9.05. Now I managed to get it back down from the 10. When we was going up that incline, it did start with a 10. So I've managed to claw that back and I've managed to get it to start with a nine and not just start with a nine, closer to it starting with an eight. As you can see on the right hand side, these runners on the right are runners that are behind me. So they're coming up what the organizers called Death Valley. We were now going back the way we came, but on the grass. I'm kind of waffling a bit, but I was really proud of this because I just saw how many people were behind me at this point, and that was a massive boost to my morale. My adrenaline just went through the roof and I picked up the pace and I just went for it at this point because I just thought for the first time in my park run career, for the first time since running park runs since 20, since two years ago, 2022, I'm now not at the back. And being mid-pack for the first time felt really good, really good. This is coming from someone who's always been at the back of every race or run he's entered into. And even though I've got loads and loads of endurance, I am not fast. So to see that progress, to see it visually like that represented in being able to run back the way I came and seeing all of those people still coming through, I've never seen that before. This is something which most runners, on average, based on finish times, see regularly and it's not a big deal because they're not winning they're just mid-pack and that's normal because most people that do park runs are naturally fit people we all started at the same time remember we've all started on the start line at the same time and now i'm a clear kilometer ahead of them that's an amazing feeling i'm not taking anything away from individuals that turn up at a park run i've got the utmost respect for anyone that rocks up at a park run and runs that 5k even even if they walk that that 5k it doesn't matter because they're out doing something they're not on the sofa they've got their butts up on a saturday morning got to their local park run and are exerting energy and burning calories fair play so now i've hit the four kilometer marker i've only got one kilometer left to go now this is where i start to lose it a little bit people are starting to pass me people that are behind me are starting to pass me i hadn't had people pass me for ages i'd managed to maintain a good pace and keep up with a small group that were ahead of me but now they were kind of starting to sail away from me slowly i was trying my best to keep this pace up and I knew that if I could just sustain the pace that I was doing at the moment, it was still below 10 minutes, it's a 10 minute mile, it's still, it was still faster than that. I was fighting, fighting really hard to keep it below nine minutes. And I knew I was on for a good time. I knew I was on for a sub 30. So as I came through the viaduct, I knew I only had about half a kilometre left to go. I'm pretty good at ju judging distance. I don't know the route at all. It's the first time I've ever run this route, so not knowing the route was really tough. But as you can see on my face here, I am pushing it as hard as I can. I had a quick look at my watch to see what the pace looked like, and I knew I was on for a really good time. Now at this point, at this point here in the run, I had a brief look at my watch and I was under at the moment 27 minutes and I could see the finish line. Now I knew I wasn't getting a sub 27, but if I sprinted, a 
if I sprinted, I was on for a sub 28. beat this lady who was also sprinting <laughs> and this is what i mean about park runs being fun races they're fun races you're not supposed to call them races but when i was passing her she also put in a burst to try and beat me how is that not a race i love it what a phenomenal mentality i absolutely went for that i'm really proud of myself <sighs> I also sound like I'm about to pass out and how anyone never called me an ambulance, I don't know. I sound appalling. I didn't realise I was this loud as I'm running around. I, was one I always wonder why I get funny looks from people. So yeah, let me show you the results. So I'm really proud of that. That was a really good finish. Um, I hope I did it justice. I hope I made this park run come across as as much fun as I found it. I mean, I'm absolutely dying in the video. It looks like I'm absolutely dying. This is an absolute smash and grab. This is a complete suffer fest. And I pushed and pushed and I put everything into this run. I really, really did. And there were certain things that I've accomplished over the last four years that have been benchmarks. Running the London Marathon. This is winning a race in Cat D on Zwift. That was another one. And now this PB that I got at this park run. Now I mentioned already a bit of a spoiler that I was on for a sub 27 minute. And I think that if I manage to pace this a bit better, now knowing the course, I do think I'm on for a sub 27 minute if I do it again. I, I will say that, but I always say that about every race I do. I always think that when I'm finished, if I've had a good result, I always think to myself, I could have pushed that a bit more. I could have put more into that. Okay, again, thank you. Hello, mate. <laughs> Got the camera there. Everything's happening. All the techs here. <laughs> I yeah. don't recall it. It didn't happen. Exactly. No, really. <laughs> if I was top 400. Nice one. Oh, yeah, you need that. that. Cheers, well mate. Cheers. But anyway, my point is, I definitely think I've got a sub 27 minute, which is what I think I put myself as for my... Um, for my new year's resolution back in january sub 25 minutes sub 25. so let me show you my result let me go to my page here so today 17th of august 2024 overall position 395 my time 27 minutes and 50 seconds Let me say that again, 27 minutes and 50, that was sub 28. If I continue with this progress, I've got a sub 25 minute in me. Sub 25 minute, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that out loud, that's ridiculous. That's crazy, that's just crazy talk, guys. Chill out, Jesus, I can't believe you just said that. Oh my goodness, but I've definitely got a sub 27 minute in me. I am so happy with this result. Anyway, I just wanna say a lighthearted video for a lighthearted guy on a light-hearted day. No one's mentioned veganism in this video, okay? Let's just chill out. Let's enjoy the results. Let's enjoy successes. Let's get to take the wins where there's wins. And today, I took a win. I am happy with that. What a fantastic day. That set me up for a fantastic weekend. I'm gonna go and lie down on the sofa now and watch Netflix. <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna go and hit the gym. I'm buzzing, absolutely over the moon. Thanks for watching.